Hello. Today I'm going to demonstrate that it's possible to float warm water on top of cold water. I have some ice water here. I'm going to put it in this graduated cylinder. So this is, whoops, put about 60 milliliters in. This is cold water. I'm going to add just one drop of uh, yellow food coloring. Mix it up. Now, cold water is more dense than hot water, and things that are more dense tend to sink, and less dense tend to float. This is hot water. It's been in the microwave for about a minute or so, and it's colored blue. I put uh, quite a few drops of uh, blue dye. It's better to have the, the layer on the top be uh, more colored. I'm going to slowly add the hot water with the blue dye to the top of the cold water with the yellow dye. Especially at first, I'm going to be very slow. And you can see that, uh, I hope you can see that in the middle, um, the color is kind of green where they're mixing. But I do have some nice layering of the hot water with the blue dye in it above, it's a little almost hot to the touch, with over the cold water with the yellow dye in it. I'll go a little faster now, but in the beginning you want to go slow. Now, these dye molecules are big. This is just regular food coloring that you get at the supermarket. And um, because there's a high con a concentration of yellow dye here and low concentration here, the, there will be some diffusion of the yellow dye up. And um, the blue dye also will be diffusing down. But they're, they're large molecules, so uh, they're heavy, they move rather slowly. And a lot of the mixing is convection rather than diffusion. But you can see that I nicely show that the uh, hot solution will float on the cold solution. I hope you can see that nicely. And you have green in the middle. Now, in the next time, next uh, episode, uh, I'm going to put the cold on the uh, top and the hot on the bottom, and we're going to see uh, what happens. Okay, so that'll be coming up in a few seconds. Okay, uh, this time I'm going to take the hot water and put it on the bottom. This is hot water, microwave water. About 60 milliliters in. Let me just take a little bit out. Add a drop. I'm going to add a drop. I'll add two drops, doesn't matter. Of the uh, yellow dye. Works best with the yellow dye on the bottom. And now I have some ice cold blue dye. Now the blue dye, the water in the blue, the, the water is cold, so it's more dense. I'm trying to put something more dense above something that is less dense. Hot water on the bottom and cold water on the top. And I think you can see. that it's not layering the way the previous one did when I had the cold on the bottom and the hot on the top. I'm not really getting any layering. It's mixing up. And of course, the, the more dense cold water going in there is actually sinking. And as it's sinking, it's mixing with the, uh, the yellow 
dye solution and we're getting a green solution. So there's no way you can take uh, something that is uh, more dense and float it on something that is less dense. Okay, I uh, will next try to float water with a blue dye in it over water with a yellow dye in it, with both of them being at uh, the same temperature. So there's no difference in temperature. See if I can get any layering that way. Okay, well finally I'm going to take a um, yellow dye solution at room temperature and a blue dye solution at room temperature and see if I could layer one above the other. So they're both the same temperature. I have a drop of yellow dye in here, a little more blue dye in here. It seems to work better when you do it that way. And I'm going to slowly layer, try to layer the blue dye over the yellow dye solution. These are water solutions, as I said. See if I can get some layering. It is mixing a little, certainly more than the first case where I had the hot solution above the cold solution, but not as much as the case where I had the cold on the top and the hot on the bottom. So I am able to get, I should probably go a little slower, but I don't want to take too much time. Um, You can see the green, there is mixing where they come together. But uh, if you do it a little more slowly, you can get some momentary layering, but eventually they all mix together and you get a green solution. So um, what I've demonstrated here is that cold water is more dense than hot water. And if you put cold water on the bottom and add hot water to it, you can layer it. And it's interesting, you should let it hang around so that your students can see that as it warms up, as, it, as they reach the same temperature, the, the solutions mix together. This mixing is uh, a mixture of diffusion and uh, convection. There are convection currents there. Um, diffusion is, is not as fast as people think, and uh, a lot of it is really due to convection currents. So this is a nice little demonstration to illustrate the relative densities of hot and cold water. So I hope you enjoyed that and you can use it with your, your students or those students who are watching, uh, you uh, understand the concept I'm trying to show you. So thank you for your attention and I look forward to seeing you next time.